Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I'm going to be using the runic tarot. And with all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what is going on for Leo's? What message do we have for Leo's? Leo's. So the first thing I see Leo's, I feel like I feel like you have someone new coming in, and I feel like it's coming in very quickly uh, with that Knight of Wands. You know, this spontaneous chance meeting. I feel like with this person, you know, you, when you meet this person, I, I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion, a lot of physical energy surrounding it. Um, you know, instant chemistry, you know, just being drawn to each other. Now, with this person, the reason I smile when I was pulling cards, this person didn't see this coming. They didn't see what was right in front of them. You know, they didn't see you coming. Uh, they weren't expecting what they're about to get. You know, I feel like it was more physical. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like it was more, um, you know, they just saw you as someone that they found really attractive. And and that was kind of the end of how they saw this. But like I said, once we, once the, once we start talking, once we start communicating with this person, they, they completely change how they see you. You know, with that hangman. Their opinion of you changed. I mean, I, I feel like that cha the change in how they see you happened as quickly as this connection started. You know, everything is changing now. The way they see you, you know, and it's something that you don't see when you first meet someone. When you first meet someone, it's usually the physical that you that you see i mean it's obvious reasons you, you use your eyes first um but as this person gets to know you and, and really sees who you are you know sees that potential that true potential um you know i feel like you inspire this person and and one thing it's almost like a when we're being inspired it, it's something we don't want to let go of you know when you when you find something this special, you're not going to ever want to let go of it. And that's exactly how they feel. Like I said, uh, their opinion of this opinion of you and this situation has changed very quickly. You know, you brought out some feelings in this person that they never thought they could have. You know, honestly, I feel like they felt like they finally met their, their match. They finally m met the person they've been waiting for. Um, you know, uh, it starts off, like I said, it, 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 you know, that physical chemistry, that's just what brought them to the door. The rest is what's keeping, you know, this person is, is, is grabbing on and they're not going to want to let go. You know, this person will continue to chase. Uh, you're almost like the this person's drug. 
you know, once they got a taste, they couldn't stop. Don't know if that's a terrible metaphor, but, <laughs> you know, that they keep coming back. It started off more of like it was going to be a one-time deal. You know, I feel like they saw you as someone that they wanted to get with. Now they see you as someone they want to be with. Um, their opinion of that at U.S. changed, like I said, and it changed very quickly. I mean, it's gone from this person. They weren't, you know, they were kind of looking at you as, you know, someone that they'd like to get with. But now someone that they want to be with, taking that leap of faith, um, feeling like they finally met that their kindred soul. You know, the person that met, you know, meeting their match is not something they were expecting. You know, but like I said, I feel like the more they get to know you, the happier they are, the more, I mean, you're filling up their cups and they're going to want to fill up yours. You know, when we meet someone that's special, you know, in, in this case, I mean, it's like, you know, you inspire them, like I said, with that, that ace of wands, you know, this person's fantasizing about you. Uh, I mean, I feel like, like I said, when they're not around you, they're thinking about you. They can't shake you. You know, they know exactly what they want from you. They want to see more. You know, the, the opportunities, um, the, the, the forward movement that this person sees, you know, they feel like they just won the lottery. You know, and, and I feel like, like I said, not only um, do they see you, but it, it, it's like you inspire them to be more themselves. You know, sometimes when we're around people that don't really challenge us, we start to get a little bit, you know, it's... The metaphor I like to use is like when, when you have those lions in zoos, you know, they start to lose that predatorial um, part of themselves. You know, they start not being lions anymore. They're just really big house cats. And it's kind of like with this person, it's like they, they kind of been around people that didn't challenge them. So they weren't, they kind of started to feel like they were losing a step. But now being around you, I mean, you inspire them to step up. You inspire them to be more. And like I said, I mean, this person is going to protect this. You know, they're taking... I, I, I see this person taking that leap of faith. You know, they're protecting this connection. They're, you know, very protective of you as well. You know, they're not going to want... I, I do feel like there's a bit of jealousy with this person. Like, it's almost like they don't want anybody else to see what they see. Um, but it's a healthy amount of jealousy. I don't feel like this person would be overly jealous. I just feel like it's almost like, like I said, with that Knight of Wands, they want, or the King of Wands, they want to grab you, hold on, and not let go. Um, you know, making you as happy as you make them. You know, and I do see this person making you an offer, wanting to take you out, um, wanting to spoil you. You know, like I said, what started off seemingly... It's just more like a physical connection or or more of a a physical chemistry. It turned into so much more so, so very quickly. And it's more of a chance meeting. Like I said, I mean, they didn't see you coming. They didn't expect you at all. You know, we have that Ace of Cups, that new love, um, that Knight of Cups, you know, making that offer. I mean, they see the potential. And they're not silly enough to let it walk away. You know, they feel like they can trust you. That's another part of this. That they, You know, that's one of the cups that you're filling up is not only the physical, uh, they feel like they can trust you. And and one thing I know about most Leos that I know, and I'm a Leo rising, very trustworthy. You know, once it may take a minute to get in, it may take a, a lifetime to get in, but once you're in with a Leo, you're in. You know, you can trust, you know, very loyal, very trustworthy. Um, very generous. One of the things, too, that Leos have that, um, you know, I feel like with my rising, I get that, is creativity. I mean, I love being creative. I love coming up with, you know, ideas. Um, and I feel like, like I said, I mean, this person, I mean, they're seeing the future. And you're in it. You know, they want to build that foundation with you. 
you know, they want to protect this. They want to protect you. Um, but I mean, we, we follow that up with the Empress as well. So it's very nurturing, you know, it's protecting you, but also nurturing this connection, protecting this connection they have with you. I mean, like I said, with the six of wands, like the, you know, it, it's like winning the lottery. <laughs> but like I said, I mean, they weren't expecting to feel the way they felt. Um, they didn't see this coming. You know, with this person, like I said, they will continue to chase. You know, they will continue to fight for this. And, and I mean, not only do we have that intimate you know, the physical connection, that mental connection, that emotional connection. But I feel like, you know, this is this this is your new best friend. You know, not only do you have all these things, like I said, it's continuously filling your filling your cups. It's, you know, new opportunities are being presented as we speak. You know, from day one, from the moment you meet this person, you know, the, the possibilities become endless. You know, this, uh, like I said, this person sees you. They never saw you coming. And I mean, very quickly, they're damn sure they found you. Or you found them, however this played out. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I feel like with this person, they're not going to want to let this connection go. They're not going to want to miss out. They're not going to want to miss a thing here. You know, you inspire them to be themselves. Um I mean, the first, the person you first meet with this person, I feel like it's just a, it's a part of them. It's not all of them. Like I said, I feel like they've been like that lion in the zoo. And now they're finally being let out into, you know, into the world again. But like I said, I, I do feel like in the beginning it was more this physical draw and that's what all they saw in it until, until the, the conversation started, until they really figured out who you were. Uh, the more they see, the more they want. And very quickly, they know exactly what they want. You know, this bond that you share with this person is growing stronger and stronger by the minute, not even by the hour or day, it's by the minute. Very deep, very deep connection you're gonna have with this person. Um, conversations are going to be deeper. Intimacy is going to be deeper. The emotional connection is going to be deeper. And on top of it all, like I said, I, I feel like this is going to be your new best friend. You know, lovers, friends, partners, confidants, companions, whatever you want to call it. I, I feel like it's all in one here. They absolutely didn't see you coming. I feel like somewhere inside them, they were ready. They were obviously ready for uh, something serious, but they didn't expect to find something serious or something that they took seriously, but they take you very seriously. You know, I feel like, like I said, I mean, this connection, it gets deeper and deeper as we go. The bond you share with this person I mean, this person's gonna want, they're gonna wanna make you part of their inner circle very quickly. They're not gonna wanna let you go. I mean, once you see something this special, you, you don't want anybody to have a chance. You know, and that's what I mean by the jealousy of this person. I mean, they're, it's to the point where this person is gonna want to make you an offer very quickly. So you're not gonna be waiting long for that offer. You know, it's like when you're out looking for a house and you find this house that's perfect and it's even below what you're looking to pay. You know what I mean? It's a sweet deal. You got to jump on it. Not literally, but okay. <laughs> With this person, a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh, we have Libra and Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, 
like I said, I, I feel like in the beginning, the very beginning of all this, I, you know, I feel like the connection I mean, a lot of people, you're connected by by the physical form. You know, you see someone, you're either attracted or you're not. And sometimes that can change. Sometimes you may see someone you don't find attractive. As you get to know them, they start becoming more attractive to the point where they're completely attractive to you. You know, and, and that can change. But with this, from the very moment they saw you, I mean, the physical attraction was there. You know, they were drawn to you, you were drawn to them, and, it, and I mean, sparks fl flew from there. <laughs> very, and, I, and like I said, I feel like it's a chance meeting. I feel like it wasn't very spontaneous. You know, maybe meeting this person out one night, um, or just meeting them just by chance. I, I just feel like it wasn't, I feel like it was part of the universe's plan. It, it brought you together. It's just, I, I, I feel like maybe the universe didn't give you the heads up memo. That's the thing too, is sometimes we spend so much time looking for that right person. And then we find them in a moment when we weren't really looking. You know, it, It is funny. Funny how it all works. Um, you know, it's... It kind of... I had a friend. He was booked for a plane. Uh, he was going to Vegas. With some buddies. Uh, the plane got delayed. And then the next plane that was going that way didn't have enough seats so he had to take a later flight than his buddies and it just so happened he got sitting next to this girl um they chatted for a while like for the flight and uh obviously this isn't gonna happen for everybody but they ended up getting married in vegas which was so spontaneous but the thing is if all those things didn't happen he wouldn't have been sitting next to her and I know what a lot of people think, that was quick. I mean, after however many hour flight, they ended up getting married in Vegas, which was so cliche, but however, um, that was 12 years ago. <laughs> They're still married. So who knows, right? Who knows? The universe has a big plan. and It generally doesn't give us a memo. It doesn't usually get us involved in it, but weird how things work you know imagine missing your plane and he said he was even kind of upset about it because everybody else like the next flight that had a flight there were six of them there's only five seats so he had to wait till the next plane and just by chance he ended up sitting next to the girl he ended up falling in love with and getting married love is crazy <laughs> that's what I have for you be good. Take care. Stay safe.